If you're avoiding activities or putting off plans because of your insomnia, you may actually be perpetuating your insomnia, making it more intense and harder to get rid of. And this is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Hi, I'm Martin Reed. If you have insomnia, I offer sleep coaching programs that will give you all the skills and support you need to enjoy better sleep for the rest of your life. You can learn more at insomniacoach.com. Now, many people with insomnia quite understandably modify their lives in response to their insomnia. So, for example, after a bad night or a string of bad nights, you might call off plans with friends. You may call in sick to work. Um, some clients I speak to really want to go traveling, but they put off vacations and overseas travel because they worry about the effect that insomnia will have on their time away, on their vacation time. So as a result, there's all these things that we would otherwise enjoy that we're avoiding because of insomnia. And this can be a big problem because when we do this, we're basically guaranteeing that insomnia will have a negative impact on our lives. Now, it's important to point out that insomnia absolutely has a negative impact on our quality of life. But if we can recognize that we still have quite a large degree of influence over how well our day goes outside of how well we slept, we can recognize that sleep isn't quite as important as we often think it is. And we can kind of remove sleep and insomnia from the pedestal that we place it on and reduce the importance that we allow it to have over our lives. Often, if we just force ourselves to continue our lives as normal and to pursue enjoyable activities, we can, even after a bad night of sleep or a string of bad nights of sleep or months or years or decades of insomnia, still have a good time, if not an okay time, or at the very least, just notice some positive moments. However, if we avoid all these pleasurable activities, we are 100% guaranteeing that our insomnia is having a negative impact on our lives. Now, for most of us, with all the pressures on our time, um, it can be really hard to actually pursue activities we enjoy, to find or make the time to do that. Um, often I find it helpful if you just grab a piece of paper, write down every single activity that you need to get done in a day, and then look through that list, and you can just put like a plus sign next to everything that you find enjoyable, that gives you a sense of fulfillment, that gives you this sense of mastery, um, that something that boosts your confidence, makes you feel good, and then just put a minus sign next to everything that kind of is less enjoyable, something that leaves you feeling drained, something you tend to put off or avoid. Many people will notice a sheet full of paper almost full of minus signs of these negative signs because for most of us our days are full of obligations they're not typically full of things we enjoy doing so if you can take some time to look at or notice any positives that you've got on that sheet of paper um, if there aren't any focus on adding some more if there are some try and do that more often the more positive moments you have during the day, despite a bad night of sleep or despite living with insomnia, leads you to recognize that sleep isn't quite as important as you often think. It certainly has less of an influence on our day as we often first think. And when we can recognize this, we can reduce the pressure we put ourselves under to sleep. We can reduce that sleep-related worry and anxiety. And once we start chipping away at these sleep efforts and this worry and this anxiety, sleep typically starts to get a little bit easier. And as sleep becomes easier, you worry less about sleep and sleep becomes easier still. So ultimately you help break that vicious cycle of more worry about sleep leading to worse sleep. You lead a more enriched, more positive life and you turn that vicious cycle into a more positive cycle. So less worry about sleep and better sleep, while at the same time enjoying your days much more. So I hope you found this short video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I try and share some new sleep snippet videos every week. 
If you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions for a future video, please leave a comment below, or you can email me directly. My email address is hello at insomniacoach.com. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'd like to leave you with this important reminder. You can sleep.